Hey guys, happy Friday. So, um, we had to go to the store this morning. We went looking for bottles at Burlington, and then I had to go to Walmart to get more bottles because the Yoda fish egg bottles have been selling like crazy recently. So, thank you so much. Um, but I made another Yoda fish egg bottle. So, the first Yoda fish egg, it's like a what I would call a mixed fish egg. We've got red, we've got blue fish eggs, we've got orange, we've got yellow, we've got green, right? So now I'm making another Yoda fish egg bottle, and it's going to be in a different bottle, not in this bottle, but look at it. It looks more like the one from The Mandalorian. Look at that. It looks so cool. So they're all orange fish eggs. See if you guys can get a better look. So yeah, it's going to be in a different bottle, but oh my goodness. So we're going to have two different types of food for your Yoda, your Grogu, the child, whatever, or your fantasy uh, baby that might eat fish eggs or who knows what you want it to be. But yeah, so keep an eye out on the website for these bottles to be up available soon. In a different bottle though, not this one. I did get a different style of bottle for this style of fish eggs. They're actually going to be in these milk storage containers. I got nipples for them. I think these bottles are really cool looking. So yeah, that is... Um, what I got for them and what I use for the eggs is Orbeez so I got the fiery pack I thought this is what I bought last time and I ended up with a multicolor so I don't know what happened I guess I got the spa one unless you know I had the you know I swear it said fiery on there but I got this one or this one it's not all that color so that's just orange or you know red and mine has blues and greens, so it looks more like it's probably the confetti one, I think. I don't know. But anywho, so yeah, so we got these to make. That's how I'm making my fish egg ones, the new fish egg, with these containers. And when the nipples are right here, they already have the silicone in there sealed. And then I'm going to be um, sealing them around the bottle with E6000 to ensure that there is no leaking whatsoever in case there is leaking so which we've had happen a couple times and thank goodness i put them in bags and i take care of it so if it does leak nothing gets damaged i'm always like over cautious with them and it's only happened just a couple times so yeah but anyways we found some new bottles and some bottles were sent to us i was like we've got to stock back up on bottles thank you so much guys for purchasing them so we've got some cool ones we got a newbie with an elephant a newbie with either mommy or daddy bear and um with a child then either then you have a lion with a baby lion then this one is going to be sold as a set with a pacifier now we were sent with our from our friend uh she sent us these bottles they're dr brown they're toddler i've already sealed those are really cool and then look at this one so cool people have toddler babies like parker could totally use one of these he's at that age then we got two sippy cups so we're like you know people have toddlers we found the sippy cups something different totally fun i'm excited about those and then we'll be having these available today as well they are pacifier with the bottle sets so that is something to keep an eye out on the website for we do have a few bottles left not many left this was once all full thank you so much there's just a couple left and i didn't realize i have two of that one i thought they were different because they've been born in uh, they were born <laughs> they were. but i mean technically they were bought in two different years so yeah so we have just a few bottles left so thank you so much i'm trying to get some stock back up on those so yeah if you're looking for bottles check out the website because we got some there looking for a newborn girl or boy because this baby could go home as a boy if you see it as a boy what is that uh this is Joni. she's on the website as well she's a newborn baby like i said she can wear like smaller three month size stuff because she's in a zero to three month size outfit but it's like a little smaller so there she is and she does take a pacifier as whoa totally just hit her in the head with that as well oh my goodness so cute so that's Joni. she's on the website looking for her new mommy or daddy and if you're into bigger babies this is abigail and she is on the website as well she's waiting around for her new mommy or daddy so you can go check her out she's the baby that i painted for the tutorial and if you don't know about it yes i just recently shared my full painting tips and tricks 
so you can watch it and learn how to paint your own baby. Oh, so fun. Oh my gosh, and there's Sweet Lincoln. This outfit is so cute on him. And thank you, Tammy, for letting me know what year this blanket is from. It's from 19, um, 1991. She said her baby had it. So awesome. That is so cool. I love it that you guys see stuff and you're like, ah, this is the year. Because let me tell you what. Most of the vintage stuff I buy, I don't know what the year is for it. So when you guys tell me, I'm like, yes, score. We know what year this is from now. I did get this at Walmart. It's by um, Gerber Organic, and it's so cute. So it's got the Arctic Ocean, South Africa, South America, Australia. I think it's got all the continents on here. Yep, there we go. So cute, and it's in this beautiful, like, burnt color, copper color. So pretty. So I got him that. It was like six seventy two, I think, and then there's a matching hat, and it was like two something. So it looks a little big for his head, but it is zero to six months size. So that's gonna be really cute on him. And then I have something to share. It's for a new baby. Yes, a new baby for the collection. Um, I created the baby for myself, and I think I'm almost ready to share it with you guys. But it's a girl. So here's her hat. And it's the organic Gerber, too. It's like a really pretty lavender color. It's a knotted cap. And then this onesie, just so pretty. It's a, you know, lavender color with roses and then a darker purple flower. So cute. So it's newborn. I think I'm going to wash this and dry it because it looks a little big. Same with the other hat. But that is for the new girl that um I have coming to the collection and then I want to share something with you guys because we're going to do this more often but we had made this onesie Jackie did and Carol bought it thank you so much one of the Carols that shops with us <laughs> and um we sold it as like a twinsie onesie so like if you want to do twins day with me because recently I've done twins day with a couple people this is another way to do it so we're going to start selling where I have the onesie and then we sell the other one so we can do a Twins Day on like Instagram or in your video, whatever. So just something fun. So keep an eye out if you're interested. And getting a Twins outfit, I'm going to be looking at what next onesie duo we can do. Because this was our first time and I just like randomly came up with the idea because we happen to have two of the same onesies. And I just thought this would be so much fun. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about that. Making twin onesies where we can... We can do twin in days. Oh. So we have pacifiers available. This is something kind of new. We haven't had pacifiers like this available. So pacifiers with the magnet. You can uh, purchase these on the website. I've just got a few different choices right now. I'm uh, going to go through my pacifiers and see what we have there that I could put here as well. So yeah, so you buy your pacifier, you get the magnet. Cut the nipple off when you're home. Use E6000, not quick dry, and then you glue the magnet there, and voila, it's made for your baby. So over on Patreon, we're going to be live tomorrow, so that is where I'm actually going to share the haul from Valley Thrift when we go, because we're going to be going there tomorrow. Yes, we are. So, um, yeah, so if you guys want to be part of that, we'll be live for that. It's for the $3 and up tier on Patreon, and that's going to be at 4 p.m. Pacific time. So Let's change Charlotte out of her cute Janie and Jack sleeper. This one is so adorable. Another one that I had found at Burlington. Oh, my gosh. So now um, what I'm finding Janie and Jack pieces... I'm putting them sometimes into fun bags. So that's pretty cool. Oh my gosh, I didn't realize that it says Janie and Jack on the feet. That's so cute. I really like this sleeper. It has um, like a, it's like double lining. Excuse the stains on the blanket. I have no idea what they're from. The blanket is almost 39 years old. It's mine. <laughs> so yeah, I did try to wash it and um, get them out and didn't have any luck. So they're pretty much set in there. So, yeah. But we're going to put her in this super cute Carter sleeper. Very cute. It's not quite yet vintage. It is 18 years old. 
So, um, Tambri had this same sleeper, which I'm popping up the photo so you can see. This isn't the sleeper she had. I did save some stuff from when she was a baby, but I am. Um, this isn't the one. I did find this at, I think, just between friends, and it is like brand new. Or I found it on eBay, but I've had it for a few years. So, um, I just was like, oh my God, Tambri had that sleeper. I can just remember things that she had. It's so weird. Like, I have a really good memory to things that she had when she was a baby. And so, when I see them, I've actually gotten a couple sleepers that she's had from when she was a baby that I didn't um, keep. Like, I got one that's yellow. <laughs> There's Miss Angel over there. I got one that's yellow like this as well, and it has, like, little tulips all over it. That one I got um, after she was born from my friend Anna. She brought that to us when we went to visit with Tambry for the first time in Reedley because at that time we were living in Fairfield when she was born. So we went to visit my family in Reedley and they had a baby shower for us at my Aunt Sandy's house. And um, my, a couple of my friends came over from high school and she brought this sleeper that was like a yellow color and it had um, little tulips all over it. So I haven't seen that sleeper since then, but I know she had it. And one time we were out and I was like, oh my God, Tambri had that sleeper. So this one year I kept finding all these pieces like that she had when she was a baby and I hadn't saved them. So I um, have gotten them and keep them. I mean, I have photos. I'm sure I have a photo of the one with the, her and the tulips. My dad probably has a photo of her, um, but I don't know, like, I don't have a photo of her in that one. He took more of the photos. He had, like, this really nice camera back then. Cell phones, cell phones, cell phones weren't what they are now, believe it or not. Those who were born with cell phones, um, not born technically with cell phones, but you were born and cell phones have been here. Yeah, cell phones were not what they are now back then when Tambri was born. I'm pretty sure I did not have a colored screen on my phone. I have to think about it. But yeah, so <laughs> my dad did most of the fo um, photo work. So I'm sure he has a photo of her in the other sleeper. So there's Charlotte. Doesn't she look so cute? Oh my gosh, I love, love the sleeper. I love it from... Still as much as the first day I saw it, I love it, and I just am so excited that I have it now with me. I think it's just, like, the greatest thing ever, and it says, fly away with me, and it says, uh, way up in the sky, so it's so cute. Well, I hope you guys are having a great Friday. Stay safe. Stay positive. Um, I know life throws us punches, and we just have to roll with it, and sometimes it's not easy to roll with it, but you just have to... You know, put on a smile and just go forward and everything falls in line when it should and uh, as it should in, in the future. Nobody knows what's ahead, right? We only can just take each day by every minute and every second. So, anywho, yeah. All right. Well, thank you for hanging out with me. I hope you guys are having a great day again. And we will be back this weekend, hopefully with a haul tomorrow from the thrift. We're going to go with Tina we all have earned 75% off coupons for tomorrow's date. So fingers crossed they have stuff there. And yeah, that's going to be a lot of fun. Maybe I'll do some recording while we're there. All right, guys, we'll be back soon. Bye.